New Nicholas left behind more than flooded streets and damaged trees. The storm tore down power lines and power poles. And today, thousands are still without power across our area. Take a look. We have this from Center Point's outage tracker. More than 210,000 customers are still without power right now. Our Brandon Walker is checking on some neighborhoods that are still waiting for their power to come back on. Brandon, you're live there in the Oak Forest neighborhood with a closer look tonight. Yeah, Chris, near Pine Mott and Ella here, the Candlelight Village neighborhood to be exact. They've been without power here since about 5 o'clock, but you can see the reinforcements have arrived. That's the good news. They've got a lot to fix, though. The problem there is we point your attention to the sky. You see the trees in the back. You can see one tree where it split. Well, that tree fell onto uh, a line there, taking down a few lines. In fact, three, we are told. Also, some transformer bursts. So in some, it's going to take a while. Now, Chris, you just talked talked about the outage map. We want to get that back up on screen right now because there are still a number of customers without power. You mentioned 185,000, but that's a sign of progress because earlier today there were some 400,000 people without power. I want to show you some video now as crews have been on here on scene just trying to do their best to restore power through the parts of these communities that are without power today. Touch and go essentially, but these crews were going around working to clear twigs and branches from lines. What you're looking at now is the Aldine area from about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Where we are here in Candlelight Village, it's unclear when power will be restored. Still, residents are out here. They're talking with one another, and they say, all things considered, it could be worse. Pretty happy that it happened in September and not in uh, February when it was 10 degrees or August or July when it's 100 degrees outside. So it's been pretty pleasant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty pleasant, all things considered. Live look at the linemen here, the heroes here doing a yeoman's job of making sure power is restored. It's unclear when that will happen. Center point, though, keeping us up to speed on what progress means throughout the area in the areas that are still without power. So with that being said, when we see you on KPRC 2 News at 6, we'll have an update from Center Point on where things stand officially. We are live. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.